My name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps Arizona and today we're doing another versus video. Oh my gosh, I gotta start over. Hi. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a long day. Ah, why me? And today we're doing a versus video of the Trekology self-inflating pillows. Uh, as you can see, this is the one that I purchased and I've taken with me on multiple Grand Canyon hiking trips. This is the one that Trekology sent me for free. This is a sponsored video, I guess, technically. Thank you, Trekology, again, for sending this to me. I thought I'd create a little versus video to comparing it to my old one. You can see already, there's some pretty major differences in the sizing alone, right? The small one is at the size of like a 12 ounce can of soda. And this big old one is, you know, about three can sizes, okay? It's pretty big. So let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, they both come with stuff sacks, so it's easy to uh, get into and pull out. And already, I don't know if you saw during the unboxing, but I was quite shocked to see that the big one comes with a pillowcase. Look at how cute this is. My small one does not come with a pillowcase, I'm afraid. So if we open this up, you could see that this little tiny thing does not come with a pillowcase. So it's sad. However, the small one does open and it does, I mean, it's pretty big, you know? It's a, it's a good size for like a hiking pillow. It's perfect for my giant head to rest on. And you can see this bigger one it needs these extra straps in order to keep it uh, in place because it is bigger, right? And it does seem to be fluffier, right? I can already feel that there's extra cotton in this one, whereas this one forgoes the extra cotton for lightness, right? So this one on my smaller pillow has a button in order to self-inflate. You still have to blow on it to inflate these, right? I mean, it self-inflates to some degree, but a lot of times you still have to, you know, blow on it and blow it up basically in order to get it ready. But this one takes mere seconds to blow up, as does this one. And as you can see, there's already some differences, right? So this one's gray on both sides, the newer one, and this one has an orange, and this is the part that I sleep on, right? So my head lays on it like this, and on this one, I would probably lay my head where it says trichology on it, right? So like this. But you can see the thickness differences already, right? You can see how there's cotton on the inside here, and I can feel it too. And on this one, it's pretty thin, right? So if I show you up close a little bit, you can see where uh, there's no extra cotton, there's no extra filler, and that makes it lightweight, the perfect companion for hiking. So I'm on the fence about bringing this with me to the Grand Canyon. It just seems like an additional added weight that I don't really need. I'll probably just end up bringing this one again. It's small, tight, fits perfectly in my stuff sack, etc. And when we blow it up, this is a one-way valve, but you have to click the button in there in order to, uh, you know, blow it up appropriately. So you just click the button and then you can blow it up. And that makes it a one-way valve. I always forget which way to do it to make it one way. And then that's it. You can plug this down in there like so. Voila! You have a pillow and you see how thick it is here. And we're going to do a comparison to this one. So this one is similar to the one-way valves that we've seen on other self-inflating items. So you have to unscrew this one instead of clicking a button like you did on this, right? So it's a little hard, so I'm going to unscrew it more. Now, unfortunately, it still makes it a two-way valve, right? So you have to screw it in just to the perfect amount so it doesn't leak out too much air while you're blowing. And then the only reason why I don't like those valves is that if you saw, you have to do it pretty quick, right? Because otherwise the air just leaks out. It's not a one-way valve ever. So if you stop blowing, you have to immediately turn it in order to capture the air inside, right? Otherwise it leaks out and then you have to make it tighter again. So 
So we just blow it up as tight as possible, screw on the cap, and voila. Now, let's take a look at the differences, right? It does look like this one is has a smaller, thinner footprint. However, as we saw before, it has more cotton inside of it. So while well, this one is just pure air, so it'll probably lose its air overnight. And I have seen that, right? I like to use uh, like an old t-shirt or something, maybe not like a sweaty one, but one that's dry, especially in order to place over on the top of this when I go to sleep, because in the morning you're just gonna wind up probably laying directly on the sleeping bag or whatever you brought with you. So, you know, it does lose its air a little bit overnight. Not very much. I have not tested this one yet, but you can see the difference in the padding. You can see this one is a little bit thicker. I'm actually quite surprised that this one isn't, since it's so much bigger, right, that it's not thicker. But you can see when we put these up side by side that actually this little tiny orange one, which only uses air, it does seem to be uh, about the same size as the larger, the larger size. And as you can see, the differences are staggering when you uh, deflate them and roll them back up and stick them in their respective stuff sets. Right? Cool, huh? Anyways, so then in order to put them both back in, this one is a two-way valve. So you simply open up the valve and I can feel, right, it's, it feels like a lot of cotton, a lot of stuffing extra. So it probably is nicer because, you know, it's got all that extra cotton in there and, but you have to carry it, right? That's the main thing. And I don't know what the uh, the size difference is, what the weight difference is, is excuse me, but I would expect that it'd be uh, a lot higher, you know? Let's see. 210 Gs. 210 grams. I'm not too sure how much that is in ounces. That's what it says on here. And then we just stick it back in the stuff sack. But look at how much bigger. I'm surprised that it can't fold down anymore. I'd expect that you should be able to fold it down more. This one just seems like a more premium version, I guess. It, you know, if you were going on a super long hike, I don't know, I still can't see it. I mean, if even if I was going on a really long hike, like on the Appalachian Trail or something, I still feel like I'd wanna use this one, which I've used on the Grand Canyon multiple times, right? So for this one, in order to, you know, deflate, you have to open the valve, which is rubberized, so it keeps the air in, and you have to press the one-way valve in order to deflate. I love this one. This one is so good. I, I could never see myself using the larger size, I guess. Even if I were to go to, like, uh, the Appalachian Trail or something. So what I'm doing here is I'm folding it into thirds and I'm making sure the valve is pointed out. And that way when you roll it up and you stick it back in the stuff sack, it'll fit very easy and smoothly into, into there, right? And this one does not have, you know, any extra, um, like a band or something like that one. It had two bands, right, in order to stick around it, but this one does not. So you just have to kind of squish it in to the bag, like so, ow. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so you just cinch it closed after you do that. Like so, ta-da. And then that's it. And then this just goes back into your uh, bag, right? And it you just carry this as opposed to this. I mean, look at the size difference. And the pillow is the same size when we blew it up. This one just has more cotton in it, I guess. So I don't know, to each his own, right? If you want to carry a giant pillow like this, as compared to this, that's what you, that's your prerogative, right? That's your business. You can do that. But you know, I prefer something uh, small and tight, fits inside of my stuff sack, inside of my mesh sacks, which I've shown on this channel before. So anyways, that's all. That's all I wanted to do for this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this Jillian Camps Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this content if you liked it and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. Or you can like my page on Facebook or on Instagram. That's at Jillian Camps Arizona. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.